Hello. Hello. Thanks for waiting, 12 guys. months of Sikami Ekumi Copium. 12 months of what? 12 months of Sikumi? I haven't been sick for a year. Hey, Ikumi thanks Opies. for the raid. Welcome in, raiders. Thank you, thank you. We just started. <laughs> we just started. Hello. Welcome, welcome. Hope you had a really nice stream. Wow, I could me roll like a melee guess. <laughs> I'm so sorry. I don't know what your name is like the ultimate enigma. I cannot ever comprehend how beautiful your name is. Sh sh Shilong, 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 Shilong. I think I'm saying it right. <laughs> is it you, Mayas? <clears throat> Oh, my throat. Sorry. Hello. Well, something happened right before I went live. Very bad, unfortunate timing, but everything's okay. Uh, tuna puked all over the floor. <laughs> and I had to clean it up, so sorry. I was a little bit of late. Too long. Long. Too long, long. Too long, long. Too long, long. Too long, long. Wait, you're supposed to say too long, long? I'm so confused. <laughs> but thank you, thank you so much for the raid. Welcome in. Sorry, sorry, we're just starting. Uh, and then I made them wait for nine minutes before I even started the stream. <laughs> but anyway, here we are. Hello, how are you guys? How's it been going? Sorry, I'm, I'm a little out of it right now. And the rush too quickly. First I thought there was blood in the hairball, and then there wasn't, and I was really scared for a second, but it's fine. <laughs> it's okay. Double long. What? Double long. You're tired? Hey. Oh yeah, uh uh Wazuki, thank you for the tier three. I'm sorry, Wazu. Your your name is just Wazu, not Wazuki. Thank you, Lazzy, for your cute feet. Thanks so much. Am I dealing with an illness? <sighs> Do you guys think I'm like. have like some chronic disease or something? Because <laughs> I don't. I don't. I don't know what I have done to make you think I am <laughs> sick every stream. But I'm not. I do get congested easily. I do. I will admit. <laughs> I get a little sniffly, a little congested easily. I do. I do. But I'm not sick and I'm completely fine. So you have nothing to worry about. Okay? 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 I don't think I'm looking directly at you today. I'm like looking to the side. <laughs> It might be allergy. Um, yeah. I think I have a little bit of little little slight allergies. Um, yeah, did a lot of uh vacuuming cleaning, you know. So stuff probably got kicked up, and that's probably why I'm a little a little nasally, but it's fine. YouTubers are always sick. It's normal. I know. That's like that's like the trend. VTubers always being sick. It's like the trend, right? But I'm not. I'm not. I just... <laughs> sometimes I get a little nasally and that's it. I don't know what to do about it. Being <laughs> sick is a VTuber, Venna. I'm not sick. I am 100% perfectly fine. If I'm a little stuffed up, that's, that's all it is. I'm fine. I promise you I'm not sick or dying or anything. I'm not graduating soon, okay? You don't have to worry about anything. <laughs> Got a humidifier? Check. Got an air filter in every single room? Check. What else are you gonna ask me about? Huh? Should I wear a face mask around my house? <laughs> Get air purifiers. Uh. 
Got a air purifier. <laughs> what? <laughs> Got maiden. <clears throat> Didn't eat before stream. <laughs> oh my god. Mom, dad. I'm okay. Why don't you send me care package if you're if you're so concerned? Hmm? Why don't you just send me a care package? Good airflow in room. Yeah. The vent is right up there and it blows really, really cold air right on top of me. Whenever it's on, it's uh great. Until it turns me into an icicle. Uh Shadow Wizard Nat, thank you for the prime! Welcome, welcome. Hope you enjoy your stay. And Exantis, thank you for the 25. Welcome back, me. Do you want uppies? Okay. During ASMR, I can give you uppies. I do need to... I need to get, like, some echo cancellation in this room. It's kind of echoey. You are getting too cold. Too cold? Yes, Tuna has been fed. <laughs> and Mutaro just got his cage cleaned. So that, I'm sure, kicked up a lot of dust. Finally got him some new bedding, less dusty bedding. So I hope that helps. Because my room has been getting so dusty because of his cage. It's horrible. It, my bedroom gets more dusty than the living room, which is crazy. Because there's three cats in the living room with a litter box. Well, granted, the bedroom is a lot smaller, but still. <laughs> you see the animals and not touching grass, probably. I don't think I get outside enough. Getting outside clears my sinuses. Yeah. I've been trying to, uh, do more cardio. And, uh, get more sweaty. And take more, like, warm showers early so it helps clear my sinuses. I don't know why I have this issue. <laughs> I don't think I have allergies, though. Because I don't have other allergy symptoms that other people get. I just get easily congested. Oh my god, speaking of congested, you <laughs> Do you want me to tell you the most Happy disgusting birthday, story? Happy birthday, 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 birthday. Tammy! Wait, let me zoom out so, so we can see. It's not my birthday yet. Thank you for the donut, Tammy. That's not my birthday. Also... Uh... I think the tracker is broken. Happy birthday, uh, Iku. I don't know how to fix it. I think it's broken. Thank you for happy birthday. It was <laughs> my birthday. Warmth does help a lot of black nose. Yeah, I think I need to eat more spicy food. Dude, anytime I eat spicy food, it's like Niagara Falls in my nose. Everything just... <laughs> oh yeah, I was going to tell you a really disgusting story. <laughs> Um, I think I had a, a casing within my right nostril <laughs> from when I got really, really sick, uh, in February slash March. Yep. And, uh, like two days ago when I woke up. I felt like a huge chunk and I was Happy like, birth month. oh my god, what's happening? Is there a bug in there? <laughs> I'm just kidding, I didn't actually think that. I was just like, okay, I gotta blow my nose. <laughs> and I did. Oh my god. Here's the gap moe, okay? I'm, I'm cute, right? Well, now I'm going to disgust you. People talk about shitting in toilets on Twitter and like dropping their phone in the toilet and having to grab it, right? So this, uh, surely this story's fine. Right? <laughs> anyway, yes, they do. I'm not gonna say who, but I did see the tweet and I was like, <laughs> how? 
how could you? <laughs> it's okay though. Um. Anyway, I blowed my nose, and holy, the biggest. I don't even think I can call it a bogey. I don't even think I can call it that. It was literally a shell. It was like. It was like the inner, uh, like, like, casing shape of, like, my nose. Holy, and there was blood, and it was really green, and it was yellow, and I bloated it out, and it was gigantic, and it was hard. It felt like a creature. I didn't know humans could make something like that. I've never, ever, ever had something like that in my life. <laughs> and of course, I dissected it in the tissue because like, I'm that kind of bit. <laughs> oh look, the cutest Toshi is here. Your disgusting stories are nothing by the way. Always happy to have more eco story time Ekumi headpat. I did the same thing with uh, the ball of earwax that came out of my ear at the doctor's office. It happened twice. First time, I stared and I was like, I want to touch it and crack it in half and see what's inside, like a geode. But I didn't do it. I held back. But now, my intrusive thoughts have gone too far. <laughs> it was crazy! It it was like it had a spine with a rib cage. I don't know, it was really wild. But anyway, I was like, wow, I'm glad I got that out instead of sniffling it back up in there. <laughs> but I think it had been stuck in there for a while, maybe, from when I was sick. But I could not believe. I could not believe. Wild times we live in. Yeah, even VTubers get crazy stuff. Okay, I have to open up. I'm missing all these because I can't see. Happy birthday! <laughs> Staggering, thank you for saw my birthday yet! Spiders? Huh? Spiders pilled or bug based? Your job's at soften the wax. <gasps> Earwax goes into your nose and creates boogers? Wait, what are you talking about? Sorry, I I'm like fascinated by uh, biology. Yo, Kume. Once upon a time, I was not gonna be a <laughs> VTuber. Uh, I like seeing, I like watching videos where like there's severely impacted earwax. <laughs> And then these like amazing miracle doctors clean them out. It's so satisfying. Yeah, I like, you know, I was gonna say something, but I was like, ah, oh, people are gonna take it wrong. But that's not the way I mean it. I mean it in like a health sense. You know, grooming yourself, staying clean. Yeah. Hella satisfying. <laughs> uh, I don't really like pimple popping. I know a lot of people do, but I don't. Pimple popping does kind of gross me out. I I don't like the whole pus thing. Now, extracting something from flesh is very satisfying to watch. And, um, like, uh, blackheads, I guess, are fine because they don't explode and ooze like pus does. <laughs> I draw the line at pus, but I like other stuff. I don't know, it's just satisfying. <laughs> Is that, uh... That probably may have been me, you know? Wanting to groom and pick out the bugs in my friend's hair. <laughs> that kind of stuff. <laughs> anyway... Blackhead face mask? Oh yeah, like, like uh... Putting a pore strip over your nose and are you a monkey i'm not a monkey there's no monkey business here 
Um, but Rain, thank you! Thank you for the huge tip. Oh, look, the cutest. Oh, she's here. Your disgusting stories have are nothing, by the way. Always have to have more Yiku story time. Ah, Thank you. And Vice, thank you again for another donation. Happy birth month. Oh, okay, that's passable. Birth month is passable. <laughs> well, it seems I had broken the dono tracker, but it doesn't even matter because you guys went past the goal anyway, so. <sighs> I did thank Tammy. I thanked Tammy first. I thanked Tammy first. I went backwards. I, I thanked Tammy, and then Rain, and then Vice. Yeah. And now how do you know I, I wouldn't be getting getting to Tammy, huh? You know I like to tangent and talk and then eventually I always get there. <laughs> Thanks for being willing to talk about this. Talk about icky stuff. You're welcome. Of course. I'm always here. to discuss disgusting topics. Um, Alex, thank you for the 21. Welcome back, Umi Pie. Did I miss anyone? Oh yeah, Rap Plays, thank you for the, the one year, the 12 months. You're the one who started this conversation by calling me Sikumi for 12 months. <laughs> How dare you? In Anyone past... got a spare hunk? I'm literally shivering from being cold internally. Cold internally? What's wrong? Are you thick? What else do I have to share? Hmm. I'm very excited for, um... New keyboards that are coming. They're coming. I'm excited for them. Excited. Excited. I'm slowly gonna zoom out as I as I talk to you guys. Slowly. What does that gotta do with being thick? Thick. Star Wars Outlaws, your thoughts. Um, I I don't have any. <laughs> I have never played it's a new game, right? Is it a remake or just a new game? I haven't played it, so I don't know. Hello, more Blaza. Welcome, welcome. I don't speak it. Spanish. Please, English only. No sé español. Stupido. <laughs> um. Just kidding. You're not stupid. But anyway. <laughs> Sorry. I just. Maybe that'll get them to stop, right? If I insult them gently. I don't know. I didn't mean it. <laughs> but they understood that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That, no Spanish. <gasps> you can English. Good job. Good job. The mods will get them to stop. Good. Good, good. Yes, we must behave. Okay, what, what was somebody asking? What, what am I looking forward to? What do I want to talk about? Huh? Huh? I'm missing stuff. Yeah, so never played Outlaws. I don't really know what it's about. How are you doing today? Hope you are having a good day. I'm doing good, Silorian. Thank you for the six months, Gumi. Welcome back. Welcome back. <laughs> um. Yeah, I'm doing good. Doing Gucci. Despite chat thinking I'm sick. <laughs> I'm not! Blah. Blah. Well, I'm trying to remember what somebody asked like a couple of minutes ago, but there's just been the chat is littered with 
litter. There's so many mod messages right now. <laughs> okay, back on topic. Back on topic. You can end the art? Not in that way though. Huh? How am I sick? I'm disgusting? Or I'm like sick nasty? Does every definition of sick like describe me in some way? <laughs> sick nasty broski. Sick nasty iski. Ikuski. Ollie's in the park. What's an Ollie again? Hi, Yuli. Nice way of sick? Yeah. That's <laughs> sick, bro. <laughs> sick as fuck. That's when you jump on the skateboard. That's it? You just jump? Jump. Jump. Are there any skateboarder VTubers? I think there has been. What what sport does skateboarding fall under? Like like the umbrella term? What's it called? X Games. I think that's it. Extreme sports? Is that the same as X Games? That's it. Can you do EQ? Uh I could with roller blades. <laughs> Not with the skateboard. <laughs> I was never good at skateboarding because I never tried, but I was really good at rollerblading. Because, yeah, did that a lot. It was fun. When I was a little EQ, and then I got bored and stopped. And then I lost my skill. Sounds like something you all would make up. No! <laughs> it's not Twitter games, it's X games. You got your noodle oodles. Noodle oodles. Mm. Mm. Got noodles. Wait, 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 wait. Curry on noodles? Are you supposed to have curry with rice? Is curry on noodles acceptable? Gamer soups. Oh. Am I insane? Or were they sending me... I swear they were sending me ramen, but it never got here. I wasn't paying attention to the order, so... <laughs> uh... Uh-oh. What happened to that? There was a new flavor that came out. Wait. It already came out, right? Oh, okay, 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 okay. You're talking about Gamer Soaps, the new curry flavor. <laughs> Lost in transit. Uh... Wait, I swear they sent it to me, but I never got it. And that was a really long time ago. <laughs> oh my gosh, we know! Huh? Oh no. This might be bad. I might have got sent back. This is wait I didn't get it though because I was in a different package. Oh my god, wait, how far back was this? Okay, it's not that order. <laughs> oh 
no chat. It's so far back. Is this from March? Male piracy is a big problem. I have just been so busy. I didn't even realize. I did not even realize that I didn't even get it. Wait! Was it just never delivered? I need to get to the bottom of this. I don't know what happened. This one order just wild AF. I got two emails from the same order saying it got shipped out twice. <laughs> That's why I'm so confused. It was like, your order just shipped on the one day last month and then three days after your order just shipped huh how's it ship out twice three days apart <gasps> here it is i found it i found it what happened i just remembered Iku, i'm invested i've been noticing a slight delay with audio and your model as of late for footage i've downloaded Really? It might just be on my end though, so I'll keep doing some tests. Um, I think it's because of, a uh, bitrate issues. Because there's been bitrate issues on, a uh, Twitch. And on... YouTube. There's been a lot of bitrate problems. Oh, they never sent it! Okay, that's why I was so confused. They put in the order. <laughs> they never sent it. Uh, I don't exist. Sag. Okay, that solves that. I'm sorry. I was really invested. I had to see what happened. Okay, yeah. They're supposed to send me the curry flavor, but I never got it. <laughs> Maybe one day I'll get to try it. <clears throat> Oh, they were also supposed to send me the melon thing, too. That was part of it and never got it. There's a lot of fake UPS scams going around. Text messages? Mm. Did you apply for new encoder features on Twitch? Uh, nope. Don't even know about it. What is it? <laughs> Moss of Transit. Yeah, the order got put in, but then, like, it never got shipped. How was Minecraft last night? It was good. It was fun. The man speak to the manager? Nah. I'm sure it's fine. I'm, I'm sure. That's the only time that's ever happened. Probably some little hiccup somewhere along the way. It happens. But it did confuse me because I was just like, wasn't I supposed to try a melon and the ramen? <clears throat> they were sending it to me. I, I didn't pay for it, if that's what you're wondering. No harm, no foul. Yeah, it was really fun. I'm really looking forward to the update with the dogs. Once it comes out, I'm gonna dog hunting. Well, adopting. Dog adopting. It's probably a better way of phrasing that. Just like the sticker. Yeah. And they're not doing stickers anymore either. That's okay. I can make my own. <laughs> Eventually. Oh yeah, we still have to do the giveaway. I have to pick a day to do that. I should do it this weekend. Yeah, no more. Um, they got rid of the... Uh, apparently on the first of this year. Which I didn't know about. So I'm sorry for um, misspeaking. And... Uh, telling you guys that uh maybe we could do another free shipping free samples because they don't they don't do that anymore 
that was like a little program they used to do. <clears throat> uh, free shipping samples and stickers. <laughs> yeah, so. They don't do it anymore starting the first of the year. But we still get um, giveaways. Which is really nice still. I think the giveaways are better. <laughs> Yeah, I was told one of the issues was that um, most of the people who were doing it were people who were already, like, they've already tried gamer subs and already, you know, customers and stuff. Because that whole, um, like, program was supposed to be for people who've never tried gamer subs before. Like, getting new people to try it. And just get it in their hands for free so they could try it and see if they liked it. That's what it was for. But it was not working that way, I guess. So, you know, there's no point in keeping it around if it doesn't work the way it's supposed to. Yeah. But free samples are still on the website. So, if you've never had G-Slips and you want to get some free samples, you can. But you'll have to pay for shipping. But, you know, you can always take my recommendation. I have a good taste, good recommendations. And you could still get the free samples and also get like, a, I don't know, a really sexy cute waifu cup too. I have one coming out in a few months. So you can keep your eye out for that. But you don't have to wait till then. You could get something right now. <laughs> what is your wisdom? I'll get back to you on that once I find some wisdom. Hello, William. Welcome in. Welcome in. <laughs> She's so wise. I was, for a moment, I was like, why is chat moving slower than normal? And then I realized, oh, we're in slow mode for once. <laughs> I didn't even realize until just now. She hath spoken. Yes. Yes. I don't know what game we're gonna play today. I might let you guys vote. I kinda wanna play Pal World. Cause they just got a new update. Did you guys know that? Did you know? I think it came out like... I don't know. In the past couple days. Pal World. Update. Not Suica, no. No. Balatro. I want to play that, and I also want to play Suica. It's time for an ecoathon. I have games that I could play for hours. I love Suica. I love Balatro. If I'm even saying it right. No, it's not ASMR yet. ASMR is later. Later, 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 later. Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah. Uh. Ah, uh, ah, uh, Roblox? I don't want to play Lethal Company alone. <laughs> Otherwise, I would play. I've never played Lethal Company yet. Not even one time. I really want to, but... I just haven't. Um... I've also never ever played Roblox. Oh yeah, I really suck at Jump King. I guess I could play it in Rage. I've also never beat getting over it. I could try to do that. And there's also that new game, um, a difficult game about climbing. I want to play that. That's new. You look at me sick. You like it, John? It looks fun. There's a lot of weird monsters. Do they, uh, Keep updating Lethal Company. Yeah, I want to play the climbing game. I still want to play Supermarket Simulator. <laughs> Even if it's like... Brain I don't dead. think it matters whether you say Balatro or Balatro. Brian probably fed this up. Lethal is practically a horror game, BTW. Practically a horror game? Oh, I know! I've watched a lot of people play it. I've seen so many people. Sorry, my neighbors upstairs are tap dancing again. 
So if you <laughs> hear <laughs> vibrations, it's not me. And there's not an earthquake or a tornado. It's... My ASMR mic 100% would be picking this up. But this mic, I don't even remember what this mic is called. It does a pretty good job of not picking that kind of stuff up. I can feel the vibrations though in my headset. <laughs> Dude, I don't know what they do up there. But they do this thing where they stomp around rhythmically for like five minutes and then they stop. I think they're doing a workout routine. It, it literally sounds like, because it's like a rhythm and it's like four or five different like thumps and it's it's weird five minutes is a long time well there's some old people that live up there so they're probably not the most graceful so that's probably why it's oh, so they're loud. working out all right stop No. And every time it happens, it's the exact same, like, rhythm every single time. It's definitely some kind of workout thing. Or a cleaning thing. I don't really know. <laughs> Ew! Think about what? Well, I guess old people gotta get some too, right? Chat, you're so bad. But you're... You guys always just... You always gotta go there, huh? <laughs> it's just called tap, in, tap dancing because I don't actually know what it is. Think about nothing. They do, you know? They, they've been through life. They deserve some <laughs> happiness. <sighs> anyway. Twitch chat gets to know about it. Dude, I wonder how they'd feel if they realized they were so loud that whatever they're doing they got the rhythm down. picks up in my streams if I'm doing ASMR and I also tell my chat about it. <laughs> At least it's not as bad as it can get sometimes. Sometimes they're so loud. I've already told this story before. One time they were so loud, I almost got jump scared out of my chair. I almost broke my mouse because I like flung it and um my light went out for like a couple seconds and flickered back on it was crazy yeah i had to call the property manager at that point because like that was too much the whole ceiling vibrated it was wild you should go up there and ask them if they are okay the next time it happens and find out what they're up to you know for funsies I would not have fun doing that. I just want to leave. <laughs> I want to move and I never ever want upstairs neighbors ever again in my whole life. I've had upstairs neighbors twice and it has sucked both times. The last neighbors before these ones moved in. <sighs> they were definitely doing the, the, the workout. Wink, wink. They woke me up in the middle of the night a couple times with their workout and it's basically their headboard smashing against the wall so loud that it like woke me up in my sleep and I thought someone was breaking in. It scared the shit out of me. My Literally like my heart hurt. I was so like alerted and alarmed. I thought someone was breaking in. And that's ha that happened a couple times, and thank god they left. <laughs> yeah, the thing is, like, it- you guys laugh, right? But it's not funny in the moment. It's annoying and scary. <laughs> it's just so unexpected, and it's so fucking loud! And then I thought, oh, maybe I could, like, move upstairs. 
and I could be the upstairs. But then Not I thought... Not sure you're supposed to work out to the beat of staying alive at 3 a.m. but live and let live, I guess. I guess. Sorry for laughing. It's okay, it's okay. Um, but yeah, they're gone. They're long gone. There's other people that moved in. And when I saw them, I was like... <gasps> they're old! Oh my god, they're gonna be so quiet. There's no way they're gonna be loud. I was so wrong. I was so wrong. I thought they were just gonna be peaceful. Granny and Grandpa sitting on their couch. <laughs> they're so loud. Well, they have a son that lives there too. Who's like... I don't know how old he is. He's probably in his 30s, maybe his 40s. I don't really know. He's some like midlife bloke or something. Well, I don't know if 30s is midlife. Maybe for some people. Um. <laughs> but yeah. Anyway, makes for a funny chat story. Stream, stream story. But I do look forward to the day where I don't have to listen to it anymore. I just want peace and quiet. I just want peace and quiet, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 30s is not midlife. You're right, you're right. And you know, for some people, 20 is midlife. Depending on how you take care of yourself. Bloke. No American says that. I know, I gotta keep you on your toes. Your tippy toes. Cat kiss. Okay. <coughs> Here I come. <laughs> there you go. Okay, bye. Bye. <laughs> Ew, okay, so Min made a meme of, um, Nerdy Koo, and it sounded so nasty. I've never heard Nerdy Koo before. <laughs> Ever. <laughs> that was weird. <laughs> I didn't know how to feel about it. I don't want to do actual roleplay nerdy goo. You understand? I understand why you stopped clicking, clipping it out. Oh, you thought it was weird too, Rain. Wow, that's rude. You're not supposed to think it's weird. Only I'm supposed to think it's weird. <laughs> it was good. <laughs> feel proud. It's okay. It's not bad. But yeah, it is a little strange. <laughs> She's uh, an acquired taste. Uh, so, I'm thinking of Pal World, and I'm thinking of Stardew Valley. I don't know, what do you guys want to do today? Today is a Twitch day, so we get a long, long Twitch stream today. Yeah, Stardew Valley just got an update, a really big update, and I haven't played it yet. And then Pal World just got a, an update too, and I haven't played that either. Apex Legends. Wow, I'm surprised so many of you want to watch Stardew. Helldivers? Alone? I've heard that game's not fun alone, and I've never played. Chat, I need to teach Tuna how to be a streamer, so anytime I want to play a co-op game, I can have someone to play with. Content warning for Stardew. I mean... Stop, stop, stop typing Suica and then using Toji emotes. That's unfair. Stop. <laughs> Has Suica had an update recently at all? Iku, I am manifesting your inhaler. What's that supposed to mean? Huh? What if my inhaler is a plate of spaghetti? Because I can inhale a plate of spaghetti. Yeah, Helldivers is a alone, that is true. <laughs> inhaler, I hardly know her. Mm. That's a good 
them. I don't play at all. What, what, what do you mean I play solo? I, <sighs> does saying Suica along with Toshi Yuzuki? It kind of does. Content warning is a lethal company type game. You explore ruins to gather footage of spooky stuff and try to survive. Honestly was really fun but don't play it solo. Content Warning is a lethal company type game. Oh, I've never heard of Content Warning before. Is that new? <laughs> Please take care of my lungs. Am I the one who actually needs the inhaler? I need like a nostril... What's it called? A snorter. I need a nostril... A nose snorter. I don't know what it would be called. Whatever can clear my sinusy. <laughs> Snorkel. It was free April Fools. <gasps> what was? Huh? Came on April Fools. You film the spooky stuff and put it on spooky tube to get views. Oh, scary. Oh, Content Warning was an April Fool's game and it was free. Oh, is it single player? A neti pot? Ew! Isn't that like where you shoot liquid up there? I want an inhaler, but for my nose. I think they make stuff like that. I think it's like allergy stuff. It's multiplayer? Okay. Oh, it's free for the first day. Oh, did it come out on April Fool's? Nasal inhaler, yeah. 200k people download it and the servers are shitting the bed. It did? Oh. Chat, I might have to crawl into some people's DMs and ask them to play games with me on stream. I'm sick of not being able to play stuff. <laughs> or play with my mods. Nebulizer. I still don't really know what a nebulizer is. Oh my gosh, they're being so loud. What's going on up there? Do I have redeems open? Can you guys see hydrate? Hydrate should be open. You want a plasmalizer. What's a plasmalizer? <laughs> the man still got it. <sighs> Cease. I wish they'd just go to a gym. Your living room is not the place when you live above someone, okay? I was thinking of moving to an upper floor, but then I was like, I don't want to move all my stuff. And I like being on the bottom floor. <laughs> Equalizer! It blasts you a soothing vapor. Oh. It puts grapes in a microwave and makes plasma. What? What? Are you being serious? Just buy a house, five head. Okay. Hang on. Hang on. I got you. <laughs> oh, bye! Lucky, lucky, and Rain and Tammy and whoever else did something today. It's not. I will never. I will never. I did Findom once and I made the other person cry on accident and I never did it again. I mostly did it to experiment for fun because I live with someone who was a Findomer and it was wild and I was like, oh my gosh, I want to see. And she showed me what she did and she's like, here, you can try it. And they give you money. And I was like, Really? They give you money to yell at them and degrade them? And she's like, yeah. And I was like, that seems really mean. And she's like, no, they like it. Trust me. And I was like, okay. And I was like, 
how mean do I need to be? And she's like, just be as mean as you can. And I was like, okay. Okay. Thought about how mean I am to my brothers and times it by 10. Let's go. And the guy was like, that was the best Findom I've ever had. It literally made me cry. It was so good. And he's like, you want to do it again? And I was like, <laughs> fuck no, I don't get out of here. I'm never doing this again ever in my life. I felt so bad. I didn't even accept the money. It was dirty money, chat. It was dirty, icky money. I, I gave it to my roommate. I was like, you take it. I can't accept this. This is terrible. Yes, actually, if you tuck grapes inside an upside down glass and turn it on, the molecules will vibrate enough to turn it into a small amount of plasma. Whoa. Chat, it was hard to do. I'm not gonna lie. It was really difficult. Getting in character and like being a horrible dick, like it was hard. I'm not built for that. The only reason I might have done it well the first time is because it was the only time I've ever done it. And you know, when you try something new, sometimes you have beginner's luck. <laughs> but I was like, there's no way I, this could be self-sustainable for me. There's no way I'm never doing this again. Yeah. But my roommate, oh baby, she was another level, let me tell you. She really tried to get me into it, but... Nah. Aren't I kind of me with all my roleplay? I'm not! Mommy Koo is so nice. And Nerdy Koo is nice too, she's just weird. But yeah, she was pretty wild. She used to uh, shave her foot and keep the shavings and then she'd send it to this politician I cannot name. He didn't live in America though. She shipped it overseas. Yeah, and he watched her shave her feet. She did it live for him on a video and then she sent it to him. <laughs> I, I, okay, first of all, I would tell you if I could remember, but I don't even remember where it was, but it, it was somebody outside of America. Chat, she was global. She was a global Findomer. She had a reach, and she would go Findom people in real life. I think I told you about this. There was like this super rich lawyer dude that she would Findom IRL, and he filmed it. She walked him like a dog in a... a New York City, like, uh, what's that, what's that? Central Square, something like that, whatever it's called. <laughs> Times Square, yeah, yeah. I was living with her when she did that. She was like, I wanna go on vacation. <laughs> I was like, okay, where are you going? And then she told me and I was like, that's not a vacation. But her boyfriend went with her for safety reasons. They stayed at a hotel and yeah, she put him on a, collar and Alicia walked around like a dog and humiliated him in uh, Central Park and her boyfriend filmed it because he was paying for it to be filmed so he could keep it and it was really insane and he paid her a lot of money <laughs> he paid her a shit ton of money yeah so that's why like when I hear about all these other wild things I'm like Why would you choose that life? I was subject to it. Subjected to it. And I didn't want to live in it. <laughs> she never had anyone come over, obviously. That would have been, you know, unsafe. But just hearing about it and being around some of it was like, oh my god. Just tune in, now you're gonna head out. But yeah. That was when I was uh, in uh, college for a couple years. And uh, she was one of the roommates I had. So, you know, early college freshman days. <laughs> Wild.
I'm kind of surprised they went through that at such a young age. I know there's other people who've been through wild stuff even younger, but like... <sighs> a freshman in college and a BAM! Just with like the most wild roommate. Crazy. Not all my roommates were like that. She was one of them. She was an off-campus roommate, okay? You live off campus, you it's wild out there. It's a lot better if you live in the dorms. People are, they're still crazy, but they're a little less unhinged, typically. She was cool. Um, I think I, I told you guys a story, but one time, our, uh, we had a fire in the house because one of the other roommates was like an alcoholic. <laughs> And, uh, she was Canadian. <laughs> Not that that has to do with alcoholism. But she started a fire in the kitchen. And, um... Uh, I've told this story before. And the firefighters came. Yeah, and it was in the middle of winter. And the Findom roommate was playing League of Legends on her laptop. And she was so mad. She's like, I'm in the middle of a ranked game. I can't stop. And the firefighters like, ma'am, you gotta leave. <laughs> and she walked out there sat on like the front step playing her rank league of legends game while the firefighters just went in and fixed everything and <sighs> i'm just like how, how am i here who are these people how how did i get stuck with this <laughs> with these roommates with this house <sighs> the other girl that lived there was like way more normal and chill and she was not an alcoholic or a findomer <laughs> she was a musical student I forget what she did uh, but she did go to China for music uh, like on a trip with the school <laughs> like it's a findom game and um, while she was there or no, when she came back, she was telling me all about it, and she's like, it's so crazy, like, people walk up to you and ask you for your autograph because you're not Chinese. And I was like, what? That is the weirdest thing I've ever heard. I don't know if the people there are still like that, but... Yeah. Yeah. Um, she wasn't white, though. She was Latina. Um... So, you know, she had black hair, she had brown eyes. Like, you know, a lot of Chinese people have black hair and brown eyes, right, right, right? But they still went up to her and asked for her autograph because, you know, her face structure, you know, looked different. So, I was just like, whoa, that is crazy. Why would they do that? Why do they care about that? That's what she said. She was like, yeah, if you have different hair color and different eye color, you're super popular there, and they'll, like, go crazy. Which is, like... So weird to me. I can't- I still can't comprehend it. It's so strange. I guess, yeah, a lot of humans do have that trait all over the world. Maybe with different things. A <laughs> rare Pokemon! <laughs> well... <laughs> I know there's a lot of um I don't think it's just in China but there's like Chinese ads will, where they'll hire um someone who's not Chinese just to like be like oh this non-Chinese person is here that means our business is really good and it's better than the other ones so yeah, that means you have to buy it and it's good. <laughs> and that's it. Then they don't care about you and they're like, get out. Bye. I didn't really know about that very much. I'm like learning more about it recently. <laughs> bing chilly, bing chilly. Uh huh. It's uh, interesting, I suppose. Yeah, black hair is dominant gene. I think brown eyes is a dominant gene as well. And aren't blue eyes like a... Okay, okay. Correct me if I'm wrong, but isn't that like an incest gene? <laughs> That's incest, right? It's submissive, yes. <laughs> submissive incest. Mm -hmm. I think...
think it is chat. Or is it? A, or is that a myth? I'm wrong. I th are you sure? I thought that was from inbreeding. I thought blue eyes came about from inbreeding and then they just stayed around. It is recessive, but isn't it also inbreeding? Is a myth? Should I see what Google says? Are blue eyes from inbreeding? The thing is, if the answer was yes, then I'd want to know where green eyes come from. <gasps> oh, thank God. Thank God it's not true. <laughs> I didn't want to be uh, looked at as that, you know? Because I can't help it. It's not my fault that my flesh bag has green eyes. Blue eyes are a result of genetics, not inbreeding. Okay, that's good. I can admire blue eyes again. I know they're recessive. You can stop saying they're recessive. I know. I know. Blue eyes have better low light vision? Why? Yo, Gumi, thank you for buying. Game I think yourselves. you're the only person I've ever met who genuinely thought blue eyes meant incest, homie. First of all, I never thought that, okay? Somebody told me that, like, recently, like last year, and then I thought, is it true? And I never actually looked it up. So, now I know it's not actually true. I just wasn't sure if it was true or not. <laughs> you accepted it. It was more like, oh, that's really weird, and then I didn't really think about it. <laughs> You blue eyes? <laughs> I'm just open-minded. Yep, cock, I am. I need to stop saying that. I mean, yep, 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 yep. Dude, yep, cock is ingrained in my brain. Anytime I see the yep emote, I think it's called yep, cock for some reason. Because people used to type it so much. I have green eyes in, in my 3D model. I mean, my, my 4D model. My 4D model has green eyes, but this one has way cooler eyes. Red, magenta, tangerine, <laughs> and maybe a little bit of yellow in there too. Your, wait, what was your favorite moment from Ecothon? Both parents need to have blue eyes for their kids to have blue eyes. It just makes it more common. Recessive genes. I heard that if a kid is born with blue eyes, that means that wife has been cheating if both parents do not have blue eyes, lol. Thanks for the bit, spectators. Thank you. <laughs> what the fuck? Um. That's not how all recessive genes work necessarily. I mean, if you put two recessive genes together, then it's most likely you'll get a recessive result, right? But not 100% of the time. Recessive genes, well, actually I don't think it's 100% of the time. I have to look it up. I don't remember anymore, but I know recessive genes can still surface even if there are dominant genes present. It can still happen. <laughs> that reminds me of this kid I knew in school. He was a ginger, and his whole family didn't look anything like him. He was the only ginger in his whole family. The rest of his family had, like, dark brown hair and no freckles or anything. <laughs> that would be an example of recessive springing up around a bunch of dominant genes. That happens you have two different eye colors? I don't know. I don't know. Uh... Do albino people have red hair? Copper hair? Wouldn't their hair just be white? If blue eyes are present in your genetics, there is still a chance to be born with them even oh. if both parents have brown eyes. Genetics are weird, so nothing is concrete, TBH. Yeah. Yep, it's true. If there's some recessive gene somewhere, 
Two brown eyed parents could have a green eyed kid. It can happen. People with al albinism often have white or very light blonde hair, although some have brown or red hair. The exact color depends on how much melanin their body produces. What the heck? A very pale skin that burns easily in the sun and does not usually tan is also typical of albinism. Do you have pink eyes though? Do humans get pink eyes if they're albino? I'm curious. I don't know any of these answers. Aww. Yeah, you don't want to be born albino. Yeah, I hear there's a lot of health problems, actually. <laughs> With that. I am feeling well. Jess, how are you? We're talking about science. Most people with ocular albinism have blue eyes. What? So they're not like animals. It's not pink or red. Oh, but the blood vessels inside can show through the colored part, the iris. And the eyes can look pink or red. So they could look pink or red or be blue. So you could just have a really pale person with blue eyes be an albino. And maybe they wouldn't even know. Or would they know? <laughs> this is more complicated in humans than I thought. Oh, it says it's a very common misunderstanding that people with albinism have pink or red eyes. It is complicated. I don't know what kind of problems albino people have. I just remember hearing they do, but I don't remember what they are. Holy! Pink eye human looks scary! Albino person? Really? They always had sunglasses on? Oh. Do they have like worse vision? Or they just have to protect their eyes? <sighs> I remember hearing about this one, um. It's like a clan or something. I can't remember if this. I think this was. Um, is this South America? But there's like a special group of people. Wait, I don't know if this was in Alaska or if it was in South America. But they had like special purple eyes. And they could see a lot better underwater because of it. I don't know if that was a fake story or if it was true. But I remember hearing about that a really long time ago. <laughs> I, I thought it was interesting, but... <laughs> Maybe I can look it up and find out. Purple eyes would be so cool though. <laughs> I don't know, there is an article about it. I hear about a lot of interesting things. I believe the red eye albinism idea is a misconception stemming from the association of white rabbits with red eyes. Mm. I wouldn't be surprised if it is. Also, why is Twitch saying this stream has paid promotion Akumi table flip? It always says it has paid promotion. It's because gamer subs. I think you're supposed to technically have paid promotion on if you're affiliated with a brand and they send you free stuff. But I could be wrong. I'm pretty sure you're supposed to though. 
do other streamers not have it on? <laughs> All the millions of VTubers and streamers that are with gamer subs don't have it turned on. I suppose I can turn it off if it's bothering you guys. This includes pay to product placement. Don't have that. Endorsement. Is it considered endorsement? When you talk about gamer subs? Because I get a kickback? Or the other commercial relationships? I don't know. You like it? <laughs> okay, well there you go. Everybody else should have it on too and they don't. Do they? I don't know. I don't know where it shows up. I've never seen it on someone else's stream before. <laughs> yeah, I think it's supposed to be for sponsor streams, but apparently according to this, it includes more than just that. Paid product placement, endorsement, or other commercial relationships. I have a commercial relationship with GamerSubs. Anytime you use my code for 10% off, I make money. And then there's a graphic that shows up on the screen to tell you to use my code. If you get any monetary value from it. Okay, so I'm using it right. See, chat, I'll never lie to you. Maybe other people will lie to you, but I won't. <laughs> or they're just ignorant. They just don't know. But yeah, I think you're technically supposed to have it on. But, I mean, if they've gotten this far without having it on, then I guess it doesn't actually matter. Does it? I don't know. People ask me about it a lot, though, and I'm like, I'm pretty sure I'm supposed to have it on. It is a random question that pops up in stream a lot. And they're like, are you- where's the sponsor, Iku? Where's the sponsor? And I'm like... <laughs> Here's the thing, new viewer, Kun. Um, I never get sponsors. <laughs> and, uh... I'm supposed to have it on for... All my commercial relationships, right? Twitch hasn't forced us hard because it hasn't caused any issues. I see, I see. Is it obnoxious? Should I turn it off? Is it like annoying? <laughs> I think most people have it on for sponsors though. One day we'll have Cube sponsor. Hopefully. I need to like make Cube content, I think. I think those guys are more interested in people who like make their content around Cubes a lot. Well, I don't think a lot of people like sponsoring ASMR. <laughs> I'll just be honest, I don't think they do. Um, that was loud. And uh I'm too small of a variety to really get sponsors. I get emailed a lot with stuff and I it looks shady, so I don't do it. <laughs> I have to post more shorts on YouTube? Oh yeah, that'll do the trick. Transparency is good. Well, yeah, I never lie to you guys. I might embellish a little bit. <laughs> But I'm not a liar. I'm too... I have too much anxiety to lie. <laughs> if I tried to lie, I'd be like, uh, well, you see, chat, um, um, this happened, and this, and this, and, 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 uh, <laughs> and then I'd just be like, oh my god, they're gonna see through my lie, I can't do it. White lies don't hurt you. I know, it's fine. If there's something I can't talk about, then I won't easy. But when I do talk about things, I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> That's the company that makes the game when under reaches out to you. We've made it. Oh, I don't think you've ever emailed me. You give me a lesson on lying. You guys want me to become a liar? Lie about everything? Have I talked about the new anime that is coming out this spring season? I have not. Do you want to? 
oh yeah, I was gonna pull a prank on you guys about someone was like, just get a house, and I was like, okay, I got you. Hang on, hang on. And then I got distracted. All right, chat. I will buy a house and set up a super amazing, sick, nasty streamer room with the best ASMR quality ever and never have neighbors stomping above ever again. And you won't even be able to hear my cats anymore. Like nothing. I'll be able to like tear out the walls and redo them and just, I don't know, punch my fist through the wall and like hammer everything into it. I can do anything I want if I own it, right? <laughs> like your cats. Do you really? Some people get like scared though. Yeah, I want to make a studio room. Thick, nasty streamer. All right, chat. Let me see. Let me see, chat. You're you're gonna get sticker shocked. Let's see if I should lie or not lie at all. <laughs> should I embellish this goal? Or not embellish the goal? I think this will probably be the most fair, accurate number. Now, I know it might look a little big, but... how it be in America right now, okay? We're, we're suffering. <laughs> Wait, am I not allowed to put this? I can't put a comma? Don't embellish. I'll lowball it a little bit, okay? I will, I, I will lowball it. <laughs> By a slight margin. No, this is like down payment status. This isn't buying the house. This is just down payment, and and I'll lowball it for you guys, okay? There. Not not so bad, right? Not so bad. Yeah, it does depend on the state, and the city, and the location. <laughs> Too low. It's too low. <laughs> 50k is pretty low ball for a down payment. Well, for a down payment on a nice house, I was thinking more like that. But, uh,. That's a little much, don't you think? <laughs> 50k for a shed! This is America, so you know, it's getting wild out here in case you don't know. I'm sure all the blokes in England are spitting out their tea and being like... <laughs> Ma'am, I live on the streets. And my box costs me half a million every single month in rent. Are you joking? And I don't get a parking space or a yard. I know, it's worse in other places. <laughs> but this is how it is here. <laughs> Toilet is extra. <laughs> oh no. I'm gonna go squat in the sewers. <laughs> Cleaning the tea. Hey, I like tea. I wonder if Gamer Slips is gonna get more tea flavors. That'd be nice if they did. <laughs> Your brother was 40k down payment for 300,000. <gasps> Wait, what? I thought down payment is usually 20% of the house's value. You didn't have to pay 60k. He only had to pay 40k. How'd he do that? It can be 10%? Oh, is that like if you have immaculate credit or something? Higher interest. Ooh. Higher interest on a huge chunk might not be good. 
It very much differs. Well, what do you recommend, chat? You are now my ad monetary advisor. <laughs> Down to 0%. Me too. And now I have nothing. <laughs> I, I'm just dropping money on someone's lap every month and that's it. Your down payment was 15? Is it better to get a lower down payment or not? Wow, there's a lot of you guys that own houses, huh? See, I think 80k is a little too much, don't you think, chat? This is... this is more accurate, right? <laughs> chat accountant. Put down 0% with a first time buyer's loan. Really? What? I always was told it's 20%. <laughs> oh my god, quite down up there. Goodbye, PC. Have a good one. 20% is the best. Do not need mortgage insurance. Oh, less red tape. Okay, okay. Make sure your credit stays good. Oh, my credit is horrible because of student loans. Then, then what? Then what? I think you should make sure to do extra research instead of listening to us. I cool heart. I'm just seeing what you guys say. Okay, I'm not actually gonna take your advice and build your credit. Nah, I'll just pay for it upright. Who needs credit when you have money? <laughs> am I right or am I right? Yeah, but I don't know. They're just like doing random loud stomping or dropping furniture and it makes the whole ceiling vibrate every so often. One plus mil? I mean, even rich people don't do that, okay? You don't pay for things. You just put it on, like, loan or credit and pay it off. You need to, like, have your money in case, you know? The more money you have, the better it is. Without having to spend it. I hope people up in Maine are doing alright. A nasty nor'easter. What does that mean? Like a snowstorm? <laughs> well, that would be a down payment. That wouldn't be a $50,000 house. It would literally be a shack, like somebody said. Or a shed. How do you live in a newspaper? I'm not a mouse. I could fit it around my tail. Buy on credit the American way. What's considered good credit for getting a house? And what's considered mild credit? I haven't looked into any of this yet, but I need to. 800? 900! <laughs> okay. I'm never getting a house. All right, well, well. <laughs> well. Well. We're done. We're done. It's over. I'm giving up on life. It's never gonna <laughs> Get your credit to 900. Oh, not 900. Dude, 800 high too. I don't really pay attention to credit stuff. I guess I should have, huh? Should have listened to my grandpa, right? My parents never taught me anything about credit. <laughs> Thanks for using my code, Gumi. I should probably move that. Realism stream? Yeah, maybe we shouldn't be talking about it's gonna suppress everyone. <laughs> I 
don't have credit. I do. You like this topic? Do you? Do I want your... What? Your credit card? No, you need to keep your credit card. I don't want responsibility of your credit card. If you spend all the money you don't pay it off, then that's gonna ruin my credit. Oh, do I want your credit? I don't think it works that way unless we get married. <laughs> okay, let me just... Akumis, what's your av What's the credit of all of you guys? If we all get married, <laughs> the average... Okay, only Gumis with 900 credit can respond. <laughs> oh no. This is bad. A credit call. I don't care about your social security number. I want your credit. <laughs> Only talk to me if you have 900 credit into or Finland higher. Territory again, Lamau. You don't look at your credit? Bordering into Findom. How is this Findom? This is not money. This is credit. What's your street credit chat? I need to know that too. <laughs> no one has... You have AR50? Whoa. I know a lot of people that have over 800 actually, but <laughs> I'm not one of them. You <laughs> the lowest credit? Oh man. I got some street cred, then real cred, yeah. I almost said Assassin's cred, and then I'm like, wait, it's Assassin's Creed. <laughs> what is credit? Uh. It's a fucked up thing. <laughs> Your credit's very good. Is it hard to get up to 800 credit? I've never tried, I don't really know. The only street cred I have is the gift card I picked up outside of Walmart. What is this heresy you speak of? I'm actually not sure what my credit is right now. When I was in university, I think my credit was... I think it was 800, or it was almost 800. Because it was like fresh, untouched. And I don't know what it is now. It's a grind. GameStop cred. Also keeping up on payments every month. Mm. If you pay your bills on finest time. Wait, what? If you pay your bills on... Um, yes, okay. I said that so fast, I thought I said it wrong. <laughs> Good credits and game. Mm. So what kind of credit are you supposed to shoot for if you want to be able to buy a nice house? And get like a good down payment deal or, or something like that. <laughs> are you okay? I am. Um, my eyes are just starting to water a little bit. Credit's only a US thing? I actually didn't know that. Yeah, mature chat today, yeah. <laughs> Talking about credit. Above 800. Oh, really? <laughs> okay. How do I bring up my credit by like... I'm building credit myself with a personal credit much. attached to my bank as a third account. As long as I keep spending and paying it off with that credit I keep building. How quickly can you build up your credit? Okay, so if you're- okay, let's just- So like, let's say you have like 750, right? That's a good number, right? 750? You want to get like 800? How quickly can you do that? Is it hard to build credit? You have credit in Canada? Ah. Uh, well, I think credit works with, like, everything, though, not just credit cards. It works with, like, student loan payment, car payment, house payment. I don't know how much phone bill affects it, or other bills. Yeah, loans. I, I've heard that debit cards aren't always that great. If somebody steals your debit card info and uses it, that's your money they take, so the bank doesn't help you as much. So you should use credit cards, because if someone steals it and uses it, and if there's fraud, the bank cares a lot because that's their money. 
At least that's how it was explained to me. Renting reflects on credit now. Oh, that's good. <laughs> I pay everything on time. Everything on time. If you have the money on standby after purchasing something big with your credit card, it'll help you a ton. Oh, so like if I bought like a piece of furniture that was like $2,000 and then wham bam I pay it off the next day, they'll be like, impressive, most impressive. I started credit 16, holy shit. You're an upstanding citizen. I didn't even know what credit was until I was like 21 or something. <laughs> Banks don't like that? Oh, they don't like it. They'll consider it sus. What, 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 what? I thought you're supposed to use cards to increase your credit. How is that sus? Aren't you supposed to... Personal finances require class right now? Well, you're lucky. That should be required everywhere, but it's not. And you have Baka parents like me who don't teach you about it at all. <laughs> and you have to find out through, like, uh, your friend's parents. Less than 10 to 15% of your total available credit if memory serves. Actually, my mom does know stuff. My dad knew stuff too. They just didn't teach me. I don't know why. They knew a lot. They just never told me anything. I, I don't know why. I don't know why. I, I will never figure it out. Maybe it's, they just were lazy? I don't know. Because <laughs> they had a, um, multiple properties and there's just a lot of stuff they had and they never explained anything. Yeah. They should. They should have told me more. Whenever I ask my mom about house stuff, she tells me like all this stuff and I'm like, you know all this? Well, I guess the house thing never really came up, but like credit's important. Should have at least talked about that. <laughs> yeah, I guess, yeah, gotta learn how to get in debt with college loans first and then crawl your way out and yeah. <laughs> You gotta learn on YouTube? Whoa! It can be very, um... Informational. That's not the right word. Informative! Save up for a better used car. At least since you remember my car is- Well, my no, my car's fine. It's just the window that's fucked up. Everything else is fine. Every child is just an experiment. Oh no. I know. It can stay broken. I just... I haven't gotten around to fixing it. I tried, okay? I tried. Like, months ago, chat. I tried. And the place I called stood me up. They didn't help me or anything. I was supposed to bring it in and then they're like oh we don't have like your appointment anymore and i was like what but i made an appointment like two weeks in advance and they're like nah and i was like okay i guess i'll leave and i called like all the places in the area there's only one place i could find that fixes windows and um i tried calling them again like later on hoping they'd like forget whatever happened because i don't know what i did but uh I don't know. Um, and uh, they were like, oh, we don't know if we can get you in. I just don't know if they can actually fix it. I don't think they actually fix the window. But yeah, it's been held up with duct tape for like a year now. <laughs> Man, duct tape is wild. That shit works for real, for real. It really do. What did I do? Your mom? 
I mean, <laughs> it does fix everything. Super glue, is that good too? Is it really? Is Gorilla Glue better than Super Glue? Well, I expected a car place could fix my window because it's a part of my car, but it is not true. There's like one place I can find around here that can do it, and they're like really sketchy and flaky. So, my appointment got like canceled without my knowing, and then I tried to set up a new one, and they like wouldn't let me. Well, the motor in like for my window in my door stopped working. So I watched a YouTube video about it, and so <laughs> this mechanic dude was like, You can very carefully open up part of your door and pull the window up and tape it shut with duct tape just to keep it shut so, you know, it doesn't rain inside your car. And then, you know, you should get it fixed, because who knows how long it will last. And that glass is really heavy. I'm actually very surprised it's been held up by the same duct tape for like a year. If there was an accident, <laughs> I don't know what would happen. But hopefully there's not an accident. I'm a very defensive driver. <laughs> anyway... Definitely have to figure out the car situation before a house, but you know, everything happens in time. <laughs> One day I won't. Uh, no, my phone's breaking. <laughs> One day I won't have to deal with it anymore. One day, chat. <laughs> I said defensive driver, not o o offensive. Yeah, it's just like the window won't go up anymore and it's electric, so I don't know what happened, but it's only on the driver's side. <laughs> well, it's interesting talking about this kind of stuff. Adulting. You could fix my window for me? <laughs> I'm sure you could. Sure, buddy, sure. <laughs> Oh, maybe there's some mechanics in chat. It'll just be popped out of place. Is that really it? And the other thing is like, oh, well, we don't know how much it's gonna cost. It can be between like 300 or like $800. And then I'm just like... Sir, I VTube for a living. Okay, I really don't need this. <laughs> Can I just get an uh, accurate price quote for once in my fucking life, please? Don't give me add-ons. You budget for something and you gotta fucking triple it just to be safe. <laughs> just live in a cardboard box. Easy remodeling. Yeah, but then like the roof is gonna cave in one day. It's gonna get all soggy and wet and sploosh. I know, it's labor work that's super, super overpriced. The part is actually cheap, I know, but I don't know how to fix my window, so. If they give you that way a margin so they can fit extra shit in there. Yeah. Businesses are cruel, man. Especially veterinary clinics. Oh my god. The whole fiasco of trying to get my two cat spayed. Insane. <laughs> That's just adult life, I guess. I need, like, I need a grumpy, bitchy old grandpa to just go with me to the vet and to the car shop and just be like, back in my day, and, like, you know, yell at the mechanic and tell him how to do his job right and be like, you're not ripping my granddad, d d granddad, <laughs> granddaughter off today, sir. I need someone like that. Can I hire someone to be my cranky grandpa? Because I don't want to. I don't. I don't want to deal with them. They they just look at me and they're like, 
It's time to make some money off this girl. I don't know anything about cars. Please help. I can hire grandpa. Ew, why do you use that one? <sighs> why the cums? You I should dress up as grandpa. Mm. I did get scammed by that. It's horrible. I never thought I'd get scammed by that. It's so bad. It's it's so sad. Everything's so corrupt. Like, really? It's just my cute little baby. Can't you just, like, make it so she can't get pregnant? It shouldn't be that hard. You guys have been doing this for, uh... How many fucking years now? How hard is it to spade a cat? Why why do I gotta be charged, like, six, seven, eight hundred dollars? Like, holy shit, dude. What? Well, the event I used to go to when I lived by my mom, they were awesome. So I was kind of spoiled by them. Now... I don't know. I don't really have a vet anymore. <laughs> the vet I go to that has like the best prices, they're a little weird. There's been like a couple weird things that's happened there. I just don't want to bring them in unless I have to because I don't trust people anymore. You want to eat the planet? You want to be a world eater? Oh, you get along with Black Hole Chan. This is like just an adulting rant, this whole stream. It's a tough job. I would never want to be a vet. I'm not saying vets are bad, okay? I'm just saying I don't like how the clinic, we'll just call it the clinic. We'll, we'll just take the vets out of the equation. I don't like how the clinic rips people off. Like clear, absolute ripping someone off. Is wild. I mean, that's why it's important to call around and get quotes. That would be the best way around it. <clears throat> but at a certain point, isn't it like, wouldn't it be better for them to get your business instead of not getting any at all? But then I guess there's a lot of bakas out there who will fall for it and pay for it, like I did the first time. <laughs> That was so not me though. I usually never do that. I'm usually like so meticulous and do my research and call and be like Oh, yeah, well this place isn't making me do that. So I gotta say that huh? Huh? I'll come in there tomorrow and get my cat fixed if you uh, knock that price down a little bit I usually do stuff like that <laughs> Need a whiteboard sensei Iku for what? Writing down notes of life. And uh, chat. Bad credit. House too expensive. Vets trying to rip you off. Car people canceling appointments. Won't see your car. It's time to go into Finnom, I think. <laughs> it's the only answer to all my problems. <laughs> and we've come full circle. Hey, somebody laughed. Thanks, Vice, for, uh actually laughing at my joke <laughs> and not taking me seriously I'm a millennial so I'm just <laughs> renting these bits it is wait who said that it is I'm a millennial destiny. so I'm just <laughs> renting these bits <sighs> so true zoomers are suffering through it too though Zoomers and millennials just renting everything. We can't afford anything. <laughs> We're in it together. The suffering. As a wise person once said, just don't be poor. So, that's all I gotta do, chat. Don't be poor. <laughs> anyway, I don't know. Life is crazy, huh? Oh, uh, uh, sorry, I got too into the bit. Um, thank you, Flossy Raptor, for the bits. Thank you so much. I really appreciate it. Too, too into the bit to realize the bits. Your poor nail babies are expensive. They are. 
hospital bills, baby stuff, parent stuff. You don't got a thin them if you zoom in 300% and smile. Trust Takumi Cheers. It's okay, consent. You'll be fine. You'll make more money. You'll have another baby. <laughs> And then you'll be even... You'll be poor again. And then... And then you make money and then you'll have to make another baby. Pre-insurance bills, 55k up front? 55k up front? Win the Mega Millions. So like, is this why people get married? Chat? I think I under I'm understanding adulthood now. Is this why people get married so they can get a credit boost and have more income? And do you get like a tax break a little bit? Uh, do I actually need to have a kid? Uh, I don't want little ecos running around. I'm kidding, I'm kidding. I shouldn't talk about kids like that. that that's depressing. Kids are wonderful little joys. <laughs> Fucking we ball. Oh no, no we don't. No we do not. <laughs> if you send kids, you pay no tax. Well, I don't know how that works with kids. Like, uh, they're a dependent, so you get a little bit of tax write off, right? But is that it? <laughs> little Iku sound great. If I had a baby, I should teach her how to do ASMR. Baby sounds are cute. <laughs> Something like that, right? I don't remember. <laughs> it's been a while since I was a baby. I don't remember the sounds I made. <laughs> I wonder if there is baby ASMR. Like, just cute, pure, sweet little... Little comfy baby ASMR with... With, you know, parent. And the baby toys make so many nice noises, like a rattle. And they usually turn on like, like peaceful sound makers in the background. <laughs> and then Tuna will try to sleep on their face and suffocate them on accident, so gotta keep an eye. Some cats do that. I think most of them don't, but... Confirm chat, Yuku is dating. What? I froze again! Why would he say that? I'm always dating chat. Anytime a new chatter comes in here, potential. Twitch dating sim. I really don't want kids though. Ask me in 10 years. Okay, not right now. From this date? Wait 10 years and ask me then. <laughs> we have a chance. Uh, I don't think any of you would actually want to date me. That's a weird thing to talk about, chat. Like, like in a serious way. <laughs> That's a weird thing to talk about. We're just perpetual friends. Perpetual friends. Yo, Raina's gonna pinpoint ask you about that in 10 years. I'm hoping for it. In 10 years, you're gonna be called leftovers? What does that mean? Uh, leftovers? The thing Snorlax eats? Do make this more parasocial than it needs to be, chat. <laughs> <sighs> Cooked her? Nah, I'm used to it. I'm used to the offensive comments. Zone maxed? Oh my god, what does that mean? Is that a new term? No. I I am far too young, chat. There's no way. Seven years. No, no, no. In like ten years. Uh, 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 
I need to be at least 279 you know what? years old. If I still know you in 10 years, I got you, Iku. He'll follow up for the archive completion only, Toe. 40's too old? Damn! Everyone out here just making fun of me, huh? No, but I probably will wait like 10 years. I don't want kids anytime soon. Actually, I don't even know if I want kids at all. Right now, no. No. Nobody on this stream knows my age. The only people who know my fleshy age are, uh, IRL leeches. <laughs> mm hmm. Kids aren't for everyone. Well, I don't know, chat. It's just weird to think about. I'm too young and. <laughs> She's 42. Hag love. Ah. You know, I. I am like not even worrying because my mom had one of my brothers when she was 40 and she is like she doesn't even look her age she doesn't act her age so yeah <laughs> what the fuck anchor Thinking of when your parents had you, there's no way you could have kids at that age. Yeah, I mean, okay, even if I want to have kids now, I, sometimes I think it might be nice to have kids earlier on, but then I'm like, but, but working though, streaming and having to actually meet someone and like them and trust them with kids and, and, and have to be with them for the rest of my life, I don't want that kind of commitment. Yeah, no more ASMR. This is a weird conversation. I feel kind of uncomfortable. Yeah, I think I'd want to have kids like... I don't know... Definitely 30s. <laughs> Definitely 30s. I think mid 30s would be good. I know people that have had kids in their mid-30s and their lives are great. They have time to work and make money. So they can do whatever the fuck they want. <laughs> so, yeah. That about a house of 27? Me at 27 having 100 hours of backpack battles in a week? Wait, what? In the chat, you know, I don't know how many of you have kids, chat, but I'm under the impression that your life is over when you have kids. Everything revolves around them. And you never have time for anything else. You were in your 20s when you started watching me? Oh, wait, yeah, of course you were. <laughs> yeah, 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 that's true. Content, that's true. I forget how old people are, even if they've been here a really long time. <laughs> Me in my 30s having $3 to my name. Hello, Millennial. How are you? <laughs> millennial Echo. It's not over. It's just different. Mm. You can't get my streamers when you have kids. That's true. That's true. But you can still hang out in their stream. <laughs> Donate the kids. Yeah, me too. I have a little cute fur baby. That's enough. That is enough for me for a while. Dementia! That's not funny. My grandpa had dementia. <laughs> Yeah, it doesn't feel that long. Time just flies by all the time. Every time. Sometimes it, things like things take forever and then other things just disappear too quickly. <laughs> Your life 
isn't already over when you marry. Hmm. <laughs> well, yeah, we we're talking about, uh, I don't know, people were talking about millennials and stuff. The song I'm listening to just got really sad and depressing. Okay, bye, content. Have a good one. Give her a, a high five for me. <laughs> a high five! Or I just let her grab your finger or something. Because babies like to do that. With friends and kids, your friend has a son and it can be a struggle to manage. But if you have a system that works, then it works. That's true. A lot of parents are really good with time management and having systems and stuff, and like both parents help out. That would be ideal. But, uh, I still want another kitten, another puppy, and. <laughs> to work and only focus on me and have fun for like at, <laughs> at least another 10 years? I don't know, man. I'm just not even thinking about family stuff at all. Like, I don't know. Maybe I never will. Who knows? The Song of Life. I don't know what the song is called. It's a Japanese song. Oh, this is a new playlist that just came on. Ooh, this song has the most replayed. Let's see if it's good. Wait! Oh yeah. These are Japanese indie bands and alternative songs. Wow, I can't believe I bored you guys this long with talking about this kind of stuff. It's been two hours. Well, the adult stuff was like, not that long, but yeah. <laughs> Stop saying fuck them kids, chat, stop. Is this gonna change ASMR anytime soon? I don't know. I'm gonna stream on Twitch today for a while, so I don't know yet. I wanted to play a game in between chatting and ASMR, but I don't know. Yeah, we usually don't talk about this kind of stuff, but I guess today it just happened. <laughs> oh my god, my entire feed is the rain's bits. How many bits have you done, sir? Dragon, thank you for the eight months. Welcome back. Sorry that was late. Wontex, thank you for the nine. Welcome back, Gumi. Young Lotso, thank you for the 21. Welcome back. Holy, I missed like an hour of resubs. <laughs> Do not fuck them kids. No. Do not. <laughs> This payday? Oh, nice. <sighs> okay, does, did Suika get an update? Where am I from? Your mom's bedroom. Um, I live under her bed and only come out at night because reasons. That's when most monsters come out at night, so you can't question it. <laughs> anyway. You're usually the monthly bit leader? Oh, are you? This Suica debate is working. Oh, well, is, has there been an update for Suica? I do want to get 4,000 points, but I think that's like impossible, maybe. 3,600 would be good. <laughs> I don't know if Suica's improved or um, if they put out like. Yes, yeah, the fruit game. They did a Halloween update and then they never did any more updates for the seasons. I can get 4k and be distracted. Lazu, thank you for the... What's up? I almost called them memberships and I almost called them bits. Thank you, Lazu. Okay, I think it's time to get this uh weird thing off the screen. We're done joking about that now, right, chat? We're done joking about credit and a house and stuff. Compared to... Balatro. So he has a little beer on. Yeah, I'd rather play the card game than the fruit game. Do you actually get zombified when playing Suica? I do. I do. 
Mutators, thank you for the 23 months. Welcome back to me. Oz, thank you for the nine. Welcome back. I'm real caught up. I, I just, you know, you know me, chat. I gotta, gotta thank you guys. <laughs> I am, that was like an hour ago. Crazy. Alright, Gumi, so I am thinking about doing an ecothon. I might be a little insane. I might do it this month. Because, you know, birthday month? Doing a subathon on and birthday month would make sense, right? But I don't know if I wanted to have a cap of like a week. Or have it be uncapped. I'm not sure. It's, it'll be a good time because there's like a ton of games to play right now. There's a lot of content. So... Didn't I have a B-Day thing last Egothon too? Uh, I might have. <laughs> I, yeah, I don't know why that matters. I think it's a good time to do something like that around a birthday. Or would you rather have me do it after um every new outfit? <laughs> That's the trend, right? After every new outfit or on a birthday. Is my birthday every day? No. It's April. I decided. <laughs> it's in April. As long as we get to celebrate it with you, that's what matters. Aww. But uh, there's a couple things I still gotta do before that happens, so... I might do some this weekend. I might do an art stream this weekend on Twitch. I haven't done an art stream in so long. I honestly, like... <sighs> okay, here's my question. How do... VTubers do art streams without looking down like this. Well, my eyes just close when I look down really far. They don't even track. Like, because my tablet's going to be down here, right? So... <laughs> How... Do they, like, look at their monitor? Or do they look at their... Amount? I don't have a mount. I'm not a full-time artist. What is this? That must be why only artists, artists, or whatever, like, professional artists do, uh, art streams. <laughs> because I'm gonna be looking down like this, drawing, like, the whole time, and then glancing up at chat. <laughs> Wouldn't that look weird? I want to do just look down, but for like extended periods of time. Move your camera lower facing up. I guess I could. Can you change your settings in your eye tracking to never close? <laughs> Probably, but wouldn't that be like super creepy? Just staring the whole time and talking and never blinking. Oh, my eyes get dry thinking about it. <laughs> I actually, I actually do um know a VTuber who's an artist. Uh, but I don't talk to her a lot, so I feel like it would be weird if I just messaged her and was like, "Hey, how do I do this?" <laughs> that seems pretty rude. I don't know. Maybe I could just keep my <laughs> Maybe I could just keep my eyes open. You know what? Maybe I'll mess around with my settings and see if I can do that. See if I can just keep it open. Just don't blink, yeah. I could do that. So it won't track the so like my model won't be able to blink, but it okay, so what do I look like when I look down? Does it look weird? Look close, I look down too far. Does it look weird? 
because that's what it would look like, I guess. Or it would think that my eyes are closed so it would stop tracking. So then I would just stare like this and just keep talking. Probably something like that. I don't know. I guess I'll have to test it out. This is new territory for me. I guess we'll see, Goomies. I should figure it out because I would like to do more art streams. Anyway, did we want to play a game today? I wanted to do like a five or six hour Twitch stream. Like four to six, somewhere in there. Let's <laughs> play Yu Gi Oh! But we probably have to switch over now. <coughs> Geoguesser? Oh, I've already done the Geoguesser. I'm not really interested in playing it again. It's kind of depressing and boring. <laughs> it was interesting at first. It doesn't look like I'm looking down that much. Okay. I'll see if I can figure out the eye thing. I could also just move my camera to horror game. Uh, I don't think there's any horror games I want to play except for Shin Kansen or whatever it's called. The new Chill Star game, but I want to play that on YouTube. Yeah, I don't know if I want to play it on Twitch. Yeah, YouTube. I made a thumbnail and everything for it, but I just haven't gotten around to it. I really wanted to play Minecraft, but then I was like, oh, I want to do ASMR. <laughs> All I've been doing is Minecraft and ASMR. Mortis? What's that? Oh yeah, somebody asked me about spring anime. Actually, I have an answer for you if you're still here. Um, I'm looking forward to spring anime and I'm also looking forward to a shit ton of keyboards that are coming out. And I'm finally gonna try a keyboard that is not from Owl Labs and not from Mellatrix. <laughs> because those are the only keyboard types that I own. I only have zooms, and I only have... QK? I always forget if it's... KQ? Or QK? Cause I mix up QK with KU, you know, K100 the mic? I think it's QK. QK100? <laughs> There's... KU100, that's a microphone? Yeah, I, I mix it up. Yeah! Konosuba Season 3 aired. I need to go watch it, but I'm excited for that one. There's also one where a demon guy buys a slave elf because he likes her and she becomes his wife. <laughs> and I hope that anime doesn't suck because it looks cute. And I want to watch it. Yeah. Okay, so there's Kono Suba. I'm definitely watching that. I'm excited for that. Uh, what is Kimetsu no Yaiba? That sounds familiar. What is that? Oh, Demon Slayer. Yeah, Demon Slayer. <laughs> That's out too. I'm not caught up though. Oh yeah, third season of Slime is coming out too. What else? Seventh season of My Hero Academia. I totally dropped that anime. What is Kaiju 8 Go? I don't know what that is. What is this? Literally the longest title, but the art style looks familiar. Oh, never mind. It's that anime where it's like about the demon lord. Oh yeah, Spice and Wolf. I know a lot of people are excited about that. I've never seen it though. I've never seen the first season of Spice and Wolf. 
It came out a really long time ago, didn't it? I should watch it. Yeah, I don't watch My Hero anymore. I need to catch up on Demon Slayer. I'm just kind of behind on everything. Mm. Date Alive 5 for me? I don't know what that is. I don't know what this is. Mahoka Koko no Retose? What? <gasps> Yuru Camp is getting a third season? That anime is so comfy. I didn't know. I guess I have to watch it. The incest anime? What's it about? I don't know what these animes are. Windbreaker? Sasayaku? You need play wo utau? Utau? I don't know. Uh, uh, yeah, none of these look uh, familiar. Unnamed memory. Do you guys have any recommendations? <laughs> Corey in the house. Some crazy magic shit, but also pretty in. Oh, OP brother and a sister. Ew. Oh no, I was reading the other ones. Euphonium season three. Then I'd have to watch the other seasons. And slime anime? I can watch that one. I'm up to date. Monster? Uh, oh wait, 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 wait. I meant for spring. <laughs> Victor, I meant for spring. I've already seen Samurai Shampoo. I've never watched Monster though. I was kind of interested. But for Spice and Wolf, I need to see season one, don't I? What's Bartender? Is it gonna be crazy or is it a slice of life? You can mix the most incredible cocktails anyone has ever tasted. To get into the bar has to find you. It is good, I've seen it. Spice and Wolf is a remake. Oh, wait, why does it say season two then? Are you sure it's a remake? Jintama movie. <gasps> wait, I thought you were trolling. Wait, there's actually a new season of Black Butler? What? I thought that anime was over. What? Ah. Wolf and Spice remake. It's a remake? Okay, let me scroll back up. <laughs> oh. It's a remake. Are you sure? It's true. Okay, someone I trust has to tell me that it's true. <laughs> you didn't even type the name wrong. It's Spice and Wolf, not Wolf and Spice. I don't know if I can believe you. It's tr Okay, thank you, guys. <laughs> thank you, Tammy. Thank you, Rain. <laughs> well, some of you, I don't know. You can be trolling. Okay, I'll watch it, chat. I'll let you know what I think. I didn't know it was a remake. You, Yuru, Yuru Camp? I thought it was Yoru Camp. Yuru Camp is so cute. If you've never watched it, you should. <laughs> Season three, I'm excited to watch that. Okay, Spice and Wolf. Uh, I dropped my hero. <laughs> what is Mushoku Tensei Isukai Itara Honki Das? Part two. I don't even know what that anime is. 
And then Kono Silva and Slime. Okay. That's Jawless Reincarnation? Ugly bad. <laughs> Wait, is this the one that I called ugly bastard anime? And you guys are like, Iku, what the hell is that? <laughs> oh shit. Yeah, I call this one ugly bastard anime. Okay, I, am I the only person who calls it that? It is really good. It is good anime. Okay, I. Gotta watch season two then. I mean part two. <laughs> okay, but it's about an ugly man. <laughs> I cannot believe none of you call it ugly bastard anime. Come on, chat. It's literally about <laughs> whatever. I'm disappointed in you guys. <laughs> um. Well, there's a lot this season. I didn't even get through the rest of the list. Is the bartender one gonna be good? I guess I have to watch Black Butler now. Oh boy. I wanna see what Demon Sebastian actually looks like. Cause they never show him, at least in the anime. And I never read the manga or the books or anything. You're going to now just for me? Wow, thank you so much. <laughs> Not just an ugly bastard? What do you mean? I like ugly bastard tags. I really don't. This is a misconception, okay? I really do not. I just think it's funny. I mean, I don't have anything against them. I'm just saying that that's not what I go for, you know? Okay, what else is on here? Jisan, Basan. Waka Gairu? Funny? What's funny? Am I the funny one? The irregular at Magic High School new season. Do any of these look good to you guys? Aside from like the ones we know are already Misconception good. Misconception like the incestual blue eyes. <laughs> Likely story Suj. No, seriously though, it's like four minutes of him being fat and ugly and then he's reborn. Okay, but that's him still. He's literally- that's- that's his roots. That's where he comes from. I can never unsee the ugly bastard within. Okay? And he- It's not just how he looks. It's- it's his personality. He's- he's shitty. He's a shitty person too. But he grows, and he changes, and he becomes better. That's important, chat. Come on! You're only looking at his appearance? How dare you? It's not that shallow. <laughs> I'm not being hard on him, I'm saying he grows as a person. <laughs> Wasn't there a scene where when he was a baby, he literally got turned on by sucking on his mom's tit? Because, you know, she was breastfeeding. He's like, oh, hell yeah, I get reborn into this. Let's go. Yeah, it was weird as fuck. Okay, maybe it was in the anime then. I mean, the manga. I heard about that before I saw the show, and I was like, what? I don't remember if it was in the anime, though. But I know that was a thing that existed somewhere. Like, is it either manga or anime? <laughs> I'm pretty sure I need to find it. I need to find it. Well, staggering, you see, it's just one of those things. It's an unsavory thing that happens in a good anime. Just like Goblin Slayer and uh, many others. <laughs> 2020 was degenerate. Oshi no Ko? What's that? That is not true. You have read light novel, web novel, manga, and watched the anime, and that does not happen. Well, then whoever the fuck told me about it was lying. And I'm sorry, and I take it back. <laughs> the idol anime? Oh, wait. 
I never saw the idol anime. I was long guide, I guess I was. <laughs> the twin baby anime with idol mom that dies. Oh. Oh, yeah, I never watched it. I have a lot of liars, I guess so. <laughs> who said that? Wait, who said what to me? I've already seen Bochy the Rock. It was good. Spoikers? What's a spoiker? Spoiler? Huh? I don't know what's going on. I'm just reading chat. Jellyfish can't swim in the night. Is another one coming out? What is that about? Is it about a jellyfish that has an anime girl head? Spoilers. Oh, okay, okay. Sorry, I didn't know. There's a new movie coming out for Bochy the Rock. Hasn't that one anime been out a really long time, though? I thought... I, I knew about that spoiler before... Like, for a long time, though. Is it that much of a spoiler? Well, I guess if you all agree, then maybe it is bad. Episode 1? Uh, it's not that old. Yes, it is. It's episode 1. <laughs> I could make a really funny joke right now, but I won't do it. I won't do it! And don't tell me to do it, because then Tammy will have to time me out of chat. Of stream. It's a spoiler joke. <laughs> Do it! I can't! I'll be hypocrite! Oh, thank you, Funz! You like it! Wait, you can't even see it all. Ta da! That's so nice! You like my outfits? I can, uh, take off my cardigan. Please do it, oh, oh she mine. Can Please. You see my boots? He'll be loyal forever, like usual. No, I cannot. I'll punch myself in the face if I do it, chat. It would be such a bad spoiler. I literally can't. I literally can't. Um... <laughs> but yeah, look my shoes. They, uh... Look at they're torn up. Cause, you know, still got that demon slaying action a little bit. These, uh, straps used to be so much longer. But they're not anymore. Look at my bell moves. Whee! Okay, there you go. You got to see a little more. And my cat ears and my tail move and do things too. And, and. Ta da! Get yourself some new shoes, girl. And look, I have pajamas too. I'm a, a long girl cat. Perfect for hugging. Hugging in the sleeping position. Anyway. Okay, where were we? Sorry, I keep forgetting that I've only been streaming with my new outfit and new look and everything with the whole comfy debut. I've only been streaming that for how many weeks has it been chat? Since I've been sick. I was sick for like a month and I debuted the day before Valentine's Day. It's only been It's only been about three weeks. Three weeks of me actually being back and streaming since being sick. <laughs> yeah, it hasn't been long at all. Because I was gone for like a month. So, yeah. I've only been back for about three weeks. The day after debut. <laughs> <laughs> so, 
So yeah, a lot of Gumis haven't seen the outfit. Okay, where were we? So the one I want to watch. Mao no or rain god no rain elf wo yo me ni chi tanda ga no me dare ba e that's what it's called right down see how three times fast uh i don't even know how to shorten this do me elfu do re elfu. Maybe we'll, we'll call it that because this name is long as fuck. Wazu, do you know what this is translated in English? Do you know what it is? He's like our resident Japanese knower. <laughs> I want to watch that one. I know some people are like, oh my god, ew. you want to watch an anime about a man who falls in love with a cute elf girl upon first sight? And then adopt her as like his wife slave? What is wrong with you? Yes, I do want to watch it. Don't at me. An Arc Demon's Dilemma. How to love your elf bride. Love her? Or love her? Beast. <laughs> um... I don't want to say it again. You yeah, that could be a sound alert. Just naming, reading the whole name. Nobody will understand what I'm talking about. <laughs> you read the light novel, it's good. Just normal though. Okay, so we'll just call it Arc Demon's Dilemma. Yes, I want to see Arc Demon's Dilemma. What about Remonster? Do we know anything about that one? Is that one good? This music is so much happier now. It's quite good. The manga is pretty far ahead. Oh, that's good. Wait, Remonster? Hell no. Nah. Not Remonster, please no. Why not? Wait, those are very different opinions. Uh... Line God, thank you for the 13 months, Gumi Pie. Welcome back. Uh, uh, uh. Too many isekais. That's true. It's just too many isekais. <laughs> and a lot of them are like, oh, well, now I'm in this magical place with elves and dwarves and all these different races and monsters and. I'm OP, or I will become OP, and... yeah. <laughs> the guy is a goblin? Wait, that's kind of funny. Tom Tomokui has been reincarnated in the weakest goblin? Named... <laughs> Gaburuo. G Ga Gaburuo? Interesting name for a goblin. After having undergone an unfortunate death, of course. However, do they not pronounce the middle U? Is it just Gabro? Is it just Gabro? Not Gaburo? Uh, he has retained his previous life's memories, of course. An unusual evolution, of course. As well as becoming strong enough to gain status boost from eating, of course. Alright, so he's gotta eat a bunch of things. Is he gonna eat a bunch of monsters like that one guy did? And that one spider girl? And those other two isekais? <laughs> Goburinu. Yeah. But his name is Goburo. 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 He goblins around. What does that mean? The spider girl anime was good. I liked it. Hello, Pasha Nin. Oh my gosh. 
entering the chat and shaking your, your tushy. I see how it is. <laughs> you have uh, my anime list or any list account? I don't. I don't. I should make one, but I don't. Okay. What is this one about? Blank and Blank have been happily married for as long as they can remember. <gasps> they're married! They look like they're related. Even in their old age with wrinkles and cr Oh, I heard about this one. They're a married couple that are like really old and then they get to like be young again. That sounds cute. The strength of this love is evident by their previous bond and then randomly one day they wake up to find they are young again. That's probably a nice slice of life anime. <laughs> goblin Slayer is a goblin. Okay, so would you recommend Remonster or no? Recommend or no? Tensei Kizoku Kante Skill De Nariagaru. I see a witch with big titties. What is this? Actually, I can't tell if they're big or not from this. She's just kind of small, shrunken on the screen. But it has piqued my interest nonetheless. Like reading Goblin Slayer, the anime was okay. Ah, light novels are better? Or manga or something? It sounds awfully to watch it. A yo share? Well, I just told you what it was called. I. I want to be a witch with big boola. You typically choose light novels. Fair enough. <gasps> you guys missed the train. Now we're going to be stuck in chatting still. If you had caught the train, it would have taken you to ASMR land. <sighs> Poor chat. Poor chat being stuck at the station. Got the second half down. <laughs> wow, you're just gonna leave? Any MILFs? Anime Ikumi Huh? Wait, what's the question, Jack? Um, yeah, you have to get, hop on the train and then you gotta get to, uh, uh, I can't remember if it's stop number five or stop number ten. Can't remember. <laughs> Is there any MILF anime? I don't know. How would I know? There probably is. I don't know how MILF it gets though. Oh wait. Isn't doesn't Uzaki chan have a MILF? Her mom is a MILF, probably. Level two Kara cheat. Data Moto Yusha Koho no Matari Isekai Life. Another Isekai. <gasps> Is that a fox girl though? There's a white haired fox girl in that one. Ash Ketchum's mom was a MILF. Yeah, but she liked grandpas. Yoza Kura san chi no Daisaku sen. The fuck is that? An ordinary salary man dies one day and <laughs> Oh my god, another one. <sighs> He's an ordinary salary man. <laughs> oh my god, please. Please. Pidgey. Wait, is that how you, is this Pidgey spelled with a D? It is spelled with a D. I won't call you Pidgey because we're talking about Pokemon. <laughs> uh, I'll just call you Astro. Please, never, ever again, <laughs> sir. Please. Um. Okay, so this one's about an ordinary salaryman dies one day and is reborn 
as ours lovent the son of a noble although he isn't talented in magic or swordplay he does have one skill that no one else possesses appraisal okay using his ability ours can determine a person's current strength how much potential they hold and where their talents rest I want to watch this just to see what happens when he looks at the witch lady. I want to see where her talents lie, if you know what I mean. Okay, what's this one? Don't get me wrong, I like a good isekai, but it's so watered down. All that's left is I have cheat power or we're getting melancholic and real up in this bitch. I wonder what the next big genre is. A level 99 thickness. What's the new gate? No offense, but it looks really cringe. <laughs> it looks cringe, chat. What is it? You missed watching Long Horizon the first time? I've never even seen it. Windbreaker is a manhua? Oh, is it? I haven't read it. Ugly Bastard is a good isekai. Yep, it is. <laughs> okay, what is this? I see two girls. I guess I could be showing you guys on stream. This guy looks like he just does not want to be fucked with. The Fable? What is that? Oh, is this a manhua? Or is it not? The art looks very, uh, unique. Oh my god. There's an anime called Vampire Dormitory. <sighs> I don't know what is cringing me more these days. All these isekais or an anime that's like a vampire dormitory, bruh. Reverse harem incoming. <laughs> Where's this doormat? Oh, they're dudes. They're not female vampires. They're male vampires. Just so you know. I mean, if, okay, if it doesn't matter, then uh, you can just type it in and look it up. That's what it's called. <laughs> Maybe it is Yaoi. Wait, I didn't read it. Let me see if it's Yaoi. Wait, this actually might be a yaoi. Okay, wait, wait, wait. Wait, wait, wait. Let's start from the beginning. Mito is a beautiful man. I really thought that was gonna say woman. So much so that women swarm the restaurant he works at daily. When the restaurant owner decides that he has had enough, he fires Mito, leaving him unemployed and with no place to call home. Firing him because he's handsome, what the heck? Soon after, Mito happens upon a cafe and receives a cut on the hand from broken glass. A strange man named Ruka takes Mito aside to presumably tend to the injury, but instead he, he, he licks away Mito's blood. you know chat you have a yaoi nose how do you sniff this out huh wait i'm actually impressed how do you guys know this was a yaoi what the fuck <laughs> okay we have to keep reading it anyway he licks the way mito's blood remarking that it tastes disgusting before asking mito to leave Later that night, Mito accidentally slips off of the roof of a building and is caught by Ruka, who reveals himself to be a vampire. Is he a tsundere? This Ruka fellow? <laughs> Ruka explains that a man's blood tastes disgusting, and the blood of someone unloved has an even worse flavor. <laughs> 
However, Ruka cannot drink from girls, so he has been looking for a beautiful boy to become his thrall. Aruka is just cocked out of women. That kind of sucks. He proposes that Mito fill this role and that he allow Ruka's affections to ripen his blood. Holy shit, this is spicy. <laughs> what the fuck? I wasn't expecting this. I thought this was gonna be just some stupid shell anime. Why is it so deep? <laughs> Mito accepts and begins living with Ruka in the hill he is ring out I feel like we're listening to a fan fiction and honestly it feels on brand for Riku's tastes Boys Academy dormitory however there is just one problem in all this Mito is actually a <gasps> there it is I didn't expect it Oh my gosh, and they leave us with that? <coughs> what the fuck? Haruka's a bitch. He's a liar. It is bait, Yaoi. This is unacceptable. Haruka said he can't drink from women. And he said men's blood tastes bad. But Mito is a girl, so her blood should taste good, and he shouldn't be able to drink it. This is fucked up. I have to watch now. I have to hate watch. This is not Yaoi. I'm so sad. <laughs> okay, but what is the fable? It looks a little crazy. <sighs> There's an anime called Tadaima Okaeri. <laughs> really? There's too many chat. There's too many anime coming out. Alright, I'll finally close the list. Disgusting. You must watch now. Yep. <laughs> this is unforgivable. Saved. So that vampire guy is a tsundere or something. Whisper, you a love song? Wait, what? Sounds like P. Gary. What? What? You pick your anime too? Oh, you hate watch it. What? Why are you shaking my face? Search it up. Okay, wait, what am I searching? Whisper, me a love song. That's like a title? I didn't know because you didn't punctuate stuff properly, capitalize properly. Whisper me. Uh, is this one new? <laughs> it's okay, Jack. I'm just uh, busting your chops. I've never watched a Yuri anime before. Are they usually good, chat? It's just one of the animes this season? I see. I see. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, well, I chatted for three hours because I can't shut the fuck up. I guess maybe we should just do ASMR now. <laughs> Blooming into you is a good one. What's that about? Oh, and a Yuri? <coughs> Hang on, I gotta cough really hard and I don't want you to hear it. Oof. My big cough's got that like asthma sound to them sometimes still <laughs> I don't want you guys to worry it sounds painful but it's not it actually like scratches like my lungs clears them out you know like having an itch you can't reach but it gets rid of that itch 
What would happen if you stuck something so long down your throat that it like kind of went into your lungs? Would it agitate so much that you just like start choking? Or could it like... Be like... <laughs> you would die? Just die? Th that's it? Game over? There's a genre for that? What do you mean a genre? Your gag reflex will prevent that from happening? Ah, oh, that's not true. You can learn to control it. <laughs> I'll take it from me, Gumi. I have friends that have told me stories. <laughs> yeah. I have very smart, educated friends. One of them is some kind of nurse or something. I don't really know. She knows a lot. And I ask her a lot of questions. And she has a boyfriend, so you know. Of course she's right. <laughs> okay, what kind of ASMR are we gonna do today? What kind of ASMR are we gonna do? Oh yeah! Somebody asked like three hours ago if the redemptions are on. Hydrate should be on. And setting the souls free should be on. Sub only, emote only. Clothing toggles. Oh, I can't see them. <gasps> oh. Oops. Let me refresh the page. Vice? And any other mod? Is totally okay to at to me be in chat. To be completely fair, your throat is separated a fleshy valve of sorts that blocks water, food, or objects from entering <laughs> your airways. If you manage to insert an object down into your lungs, you risk perforating it. Only Whoa. mildly hyperbolic that you would die. Perforated? Okay, so perforating is like a bunch of little indents, like perforated paper. So you can't actually break it. Flashy valve. Yeah, it does. True, true, it does. Whoa. Perforations are punctures. They're actually punctured? I thought perforated was like... dense. To make it easier to tear something. I didn't think perforations actually went through. I'm learning new things about English all the time. I'm gonna sneeze. Let us out, Peepo Jail. <laughs> no, you can't stay in jail. Only mildly hyperbolic that you would die. What the fuck? You still want spam? It's okay. If it's something like that, where I need to be seeing them and like reacting to them, um, you can definitely like at me. And you can do it a couple times until I see it. Because, yeah, I'm sorry. I guess it went missed. I, I completely forgot that... I typically have to refresh my Twitch dashboard once I go live because it never fucking shows me reward requests ever. <laughs> I don't know why, it just doesn't do it anymore. It's really weird. <laughs> let you out? No. No. I let you in. Only let you in. Hi, Drake! Ew, I can't make my screech noise anymore. <sighs> okay, what kind of ASMR are we doing today, guys? Um, what microphone are we gonna use? Can you let me into a hug then, Egumi Uppies? Maybe. Maybe. If you're Gucci Gumi. <laughs> I was just looking at chat like, what just happened? <laughs> Um, you'll behave. Who is spamming the emote only? <laughs> I, what? I don't know. Okay. So, I think 
I'm going to use my lapel microphones today and not my 3DO. I'm using the 3DO a lot. What do you guys want? What do you want today? Do you want more tapping? More soft sounds? Do we have any... See, this is why it's good to chat before ASMR. Because then you guys can ask for stuff and I can actually grab it before stream. Or before ASMR starts. Tapping soft. Soft, soft. Okay, what else? Slime props. Alright, I'll get my waffle for you, Razor. My pseudo slime prop. <laughs> I really like it. Tracing. Okay, okay, okay. Alright, squishy prop. I can't use actual slime on these microphones, but I do have something that sounds close. Wood soup. I don't think I can do that because my bowl will crack again and I don't want to uh, burst your ears. Squishy's god tier. I could try another squishy prop I have, but I don't know how loud it's gonna be. Makeup brush? Mm, I can't really use a makeup brush on these mics. It won't pick up any sound. Or it will destroy the microphone because the bristles will get in the holes. Bowl cracking. <laughs> no. Echo? Okay, okay. That's a. Uh, that's not something I physically have to grab. I can always do echo now. Kissu. You can always read in Kissu. <laughs> Neighbor workout. Bowl cracking? Huh? No, no, no. Bowl. Bowl. Bowl cracking. Bowl. Bowl. Not ball. Bowl. Bowl. Ball. Bowl. 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 <laughs> Bowl cracking. Bowl. 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 Yeah, I do have cork. I can grab that. Bowl. Ball. Bowl. 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 I don't really pronounce the W. I like shorten it. Bull. Bowl. Ball. Bowl. <laughs> Bull. Bowl. Bowl. I do it. I, I do like one vowel syllable, not two. Because bowl only has one vowel, so I don't really pronounce the W. Bowl, 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 bowl. bowl. Now I'm, I'm like hung up on this now. Bowl, bowl. Wait, do you guys hear the difference? Bowl, bowl, bowl. Bull. 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 Ball. Bill. Bell. Bile. <laughs> Ew, that one's gross. We ball. Yep. Bull. 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 I do say the L. It's the W I kind of like skip over. Bull. 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 <laughs> Link in B my bio. Bull. 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 By L. Got any By L. Wow. I saying bye loser. That's so rude. By L. Bile. Bile's a word. Why are you typing bile? Bile? What the heck? 
Wait, did I spell bile right? Oh, I spelled it wrong. Yeah, turtles is right. <laughs> Why did I spell like that? Bike Titan. Wait. Now I don't remember how to spell it. Oh, I was right. Wow, I got tricked by Baka Icy. Does... Wait. I think Wahita means something else. <laughs> Bile. Bangalore International Airport. LTD. Bile. 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 Okay, that's enough of my brain melting. <laughs> I did get one, guys. I did. I did. Wait, it was Turtle! Aw, oh, man. <laughs> they both always, like, dig into me, so I don't know. I don't know. You know, I'll... <laughs> chances are, if I say icy, it's happened at some point in stream multiple times. Same with Turtle. <laughs> I'm supposed to smell your brains. Yeah, it's true, it's true. Okay, well, I'm gonna go grab some props. And we'll switch over to Athmer. Just give me a couple minutes, okay? I'll put you guys in the BRB screen for like four minutes or something. I just need a, a couple. Because I have to... Swap everything over, move my microphones, get the props, grab my headset and swap out my headset. So yeah, maybe like three minutes. And then I also have to be or be really quick. I'm out of water, so I need to go get some more water really quick. So just, you know, just chill out for a couple minutes and then I'll be back with ASMR. <coughs> Thank you, Auntie, for the time the 10 gifted thank you so much oh yeah it's not on screen but all your subs have been going towards um the ASMR menu for today mm -hmm. and uh did I miss anyone else? I don't think so wait yeah I got a line god okay okay I will switch over. So I'll go. Uh, yeah, there's usually um ASMR menu during ASMR streams. And you'll see. You'll see. I'll, I'll show you in like a couple minutes when I swap over there. But basically every certain amount of subs, I'll do a little special ASMR thingy. And they usually change every stream. So yeah. When I move to ASMR screen, you'll see. You'll see. I did change them. They're different today. Mm -hmm. Okay, I'm gonna set up for it. I'll be right back in a couple minutes. 